Hey, how's it going, YouTube? So, uh, I know it's been quite some time since I've uploaded a video. I've had all kinds of craziness happen. I've, you know, I moved out to San Francisco, as I said in my last video. I, uh, worked a job out there for a couple of weeks, but that job was not it. So I moved again because I found another job that paid twice as much, damn near. But I moved a little bit further north of California, near Red Bluff, California. So which is about three hours uh, north of San Francisco. So yeah, it's only been a couple of months. No, got out here April, April 3rd. Shoot, it hasn't even quite been two months. Had two jobs and moved to two different locations. So I've been uh, extremely busy with just that alone. Not to mention, um, you know, the mess head ex-friend who uh, wrecked my car. Uh, some craziness with, you know, some, some family issues, you know. So, not any family issues that I cause, just family issues and, and in general. I'm not going to put that out there, but, you know, a lot, <laughs> a lot of craziness. So, I'm going to be back at it being regular again. Um, going to be making a video once a week again like I was I mean I was pretty consistent there for a minute but uh you know fell through on that and that's my apologies on that but yeah so I got a few ideas in my head on what to do on what videos I'm going to be filming about talking about I'll be talking a little more in depth about some of the crazy adventures I've had you know I'll give you a small little snippet. So I pulled my travel trailer, which with all my stuff in it, weighs about 6,000 pounds. And I pulled it, for anybody who knows vehicles, you'll, you, you know that I was pushing it with this. But I pulled my 6,000 pound travel trailer with a 2006 um, V8 Dodge Dakota. It was the nicest Dodge Dakota you could get at that time. Had the tow package, four wheel drive, all that good stuff. But that old of a truck with uh, about 170,000 miles, had you, um, when you're towing a 6,000 pound trailer for a truck with maximum tow capacity, 7,000 pounds, and it's like, you know, 15 years old, yeah, you're, you're, you're pushing it. Especially when you're going out in the mountains and the truck is overheating. So I'll go a little more in depth with that, but yeah, some, some craziness. Yep. About lost my trailer too, you know, a little, a little opinion. Um, that was holding the chain to the distribution bars snapped on me while I was coming off on an exit. And if that had happened going 60, 70 miles an hour down the road, that uh, that wouldn't have been too good. So, yeah. I'll, I'll go in more detail with that. But, um, yeah, this is a, it's a pretty view over here. Let's see if I can switch this thing around. Nope, I don't have that option. Well, there you go. Maybe you can see it. Hopefully, the glare doesn't uh, doesn't mess it up any. Yeah. But yeah. So, as somebody pointed out, I say so a lot. So I'm gonna try and work on that one too. <laughs> <clears> oh. <throat> also, too, I owe uh, Natalia an apology. Uh, me and her, we did a, uh, a uh, collaboration video. She uploaded hers like months ago. It was like two, three months ago. And I was going to upload my version of it. And she kindly um, edited it for me and edited it how I liked and whatnot and sent it off to me and stuff. And I told her I was going to upload it. But the phone I had at the time did not have the capabilities uploading that, that long of a video. So, But I got a better, vo a better phone. You know, it's, a, it's actually a construction phone, the Kyocera. I could take this phone and I could throw it up against something and it worked just fine. I actually have thrown it once. So, you know, the job I have now, you know, even though I'm higher up on the, on the totem pole, it's, a, you know, more stress and whatnot. So, I'm inspecting bridges now. I'm not, I'm no longer inspecting refineries. I'm inspecting bridges now. Whole new world. I get to have my beard too. That's a big plus. <laughs> Refineries, you can't have a beard. You have to shave because you, you gotta wear full face respirators whenever you enter a vessel or a tank. 
a lot of hazardous, caustic stuff. A bridge, you don't have to worry about all that. The only thing you really have to worry about is height, because you can fall off the uh, the uh, safe span into the river or onto the hard ground if you're not careful, not paying attention. So, keep saying so. <laughs> But yeah, more videos are going to be uploaded. I'm going to upload that interview to my version of it um, between me and Natalia sort of several months ago, from back in February. So we're here we are almost at June. I kept my promise, Natalia. I told you I was going to upload it. Took me a little bit longer than I thought. Again, my apologies on that. But all right, that will uh, conclude this video. The next video. Um, We'll be, be more depth in it, but I wanted to get this out there to have something out there again. I'm gonna be regular and consistent. But all right, oh look at this. There's, there's a damn deer out there, I think. Yeah. Yep, that is a deer. Oh damn. Hopefully you can see that on this camera. Alright. Y'all, y'all have a good one. Peace.